After a long hiatus, Build and Rebuild is back. We've got plenty of updates, lots of things to tell you about. We've got the boat back here that has been on the back burner for a while, but we did get the gantry crane built and the engine out. Stay tuned for more. Today on Build and Rebuild, more work on the wooden gantry crane in the miserable rain. All right, the rain's coming. Um, we'll see if we can get this canopy up and I'm determined to get something done today. All right, there we are. We're out of the rain until this thing blows away anyway. Uh, let's get back to work. Well, it looks like my one and a half year old son ran off with my rubber mallet yesterday when he was, you know, helping. Um, so I'm gonna have to tap these in with a uh, with a regular old hammer. All right, time to put the nuts on, and this side is done completely. We've got the second one here complete. Uh, now we just need to put the top beam on, but uh, as you might be able to see in here, it's getting pretty miserable out here, um, even under the canopy. So I think we're gonna call it a day. We'll get these videos cut and uploaded, and we'll see you in the next time. Today on Build and Rebuild, it's partly cloudy. Kinda chilly, but get this gantry crane done. Okay, here's a potential problem. Might stop me up for a third day now. I don't know. I'm not sure if I mismeasured thickness here or if uh, I've just got small gaps here or out of tolerance boards or something. And there's a gap here. It needs to be clamped. But I don't have threads here on the other side really. It's almost perfectly flush. And I need to grab on with a nut and clamp it down. Well, we'll try uh, squeezing it with a couple clamps and see where we get. All right, this just isn't gonna happen. I've um, clamped it down and tried to get the uh, enough threads to come through to get this washer and nut on, just even to get it started, and that's just not gonna happen. I know at least that I can order online the length of bolts that I need here, but I think we're gonna go try the local hardware store and or farm supply store here to try it out and see what we can get. Well, we struck out here. Um, did get the idea though, perhaps I can use threaded rod since it's so long. Uh, they didn't have any half inch threaded rod though. All right, so great success at the hardware store. We've got a piece of 
iron pipe to hang the uh, chain hoist from, which I needed to do. I knew that I would be able to pick that up pretty easily, but I also got a piece of half inch threaded rod, a six foot long one, and I can cut that up into pieces as long as I need, and I have nuts and washers at, at home there to uh, finish it up. Well, it took a little bit longer than expected. I mean, those bolts here on the ground are too short. But we improvised, we got some threaded rod and just put nuts and washers on both sides, which I already had, so perfect. Well, here we are. It's done. Pulled at the top piece there. Well, I may need to do from here to here on either side a, another support. I'm going to load test it once I get it upright. This thing's so heavy though that I can't pick it up by myself. I tried over there and it flexes a little bit. And I tried it from the middle and then get it to about my shoulders. And that's about it. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so with the help of my lovely and very understanding wife, we've got the crane upright. And I think it'll work just fine. I did not do those cross members, the 45 supports here yet, but I don't know. We'll we'll see how it goes. I put all my weight on it and I'm not light. And it didn't creak or budge one bit. So I think that'll be able to pull the engine with no problem. Now we just need to get a uh, chain hoist and attach it to the top and, well, start disassembling the boat.